The scenery is magnificent. The issues are often weighty when central bankers, policymakers, and economists meet at the Economic Policy Symposium in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. It's good for them to be rubbing shoulders so that all the good ideas get passed around. Rubbing shoulders, economist Miles Kimball says, in a virtual sense. This year, this area will be left to the tourists. The annual summit, online due to the pandemic, comes as many global economies begin to regain their bearings after the past year and a half. Judging by Wall Street and this year's stock market performance, as well as increased hiring and wages, the U.S. economy appears to be on the march. Jobs are up and monthly price increases have come down. Economic growth is up for the fastest in 40 years and unemployment is coming down. The U.S. Federal Reserve has used $120 billion a month in bond purchases to support the economy, but some Fed officials think it's time to taper that program given evidence of higher inflation in a recent report. What you see is that it came in significantly higher than expected, but essentially all of the overshoot can be tied to a handful of categories. It, it isn't the kind of inflation that's spread broadly across the economy. Rental cars, airplane tickets, and hotels saw higher prices, which you would expect, Fed Chair Jerome Powell says, when an economy reopens. But millions of U.S. jobs remain unfilled, and the Delta variant of COVID-19 is the wild card. It could slow consumer spending once again. The Fed believes that the underlying inflation rate, once we get out of the pandemic, is, is not so high. But nobody knows how high that'll be until we get out of the pandemic. I think the big issue really is the pandemic itself. Kimball, who argues negative interest rates are a better way of stimulating the economy than inflation, thinks Powell has done a good job overall. What do we want? Climate justice. Climate activists, some of whom oppose his renomination, believe the Fed should be much more aggressive in stopping banks from financing fossil fuels in the future. We can either say, the Fed has never done this before, even though they have the legal authority and mandate to do so. So let's just let the planet burn, or we can have the kind of leadership and policy decision making that matches the science. There is no indication that climate will be on the agenda at this symposium, but how and when to slow the economy almost certainly will be. Last year, Chairman Powell counseled patients, saying it was no time to raise interest rates. We'll find out if he feels any differently now during his annual conference speech on Friday. Henrik Sabrandi, CGTN, Denver.